Have you had a, ch- a chance to check out that uh, Terrence Howard interview with Eric Weinstein on uh, Joe Rogan podcast? Yeah, I was just watching that two days ago. I okay, so it was fresh happen. in your mind. So it was fresh in your mind. Yeah. What you think? What did you think of that? I think that it's two. It's a two. I had two trains of thought on it. My first train of thought is I'm glad Eric Weinstein challenged. You know, saying what he saw as to be flaws in Terrence Howard's uh, mathematics and science background, and kind of pushed him to kind of like explain certain things. But I don't like the way he spoke to him. He spoke to him like a child. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, what I get from that is um, like this this arrogance. I think that uh, historically, a lot of great thinkers have always been shot down and considered to be crazy or don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But in our day and age, we, we regard them as being a, ahead of their time. We don't know what the future has in store in terms of like proving or disproving Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard might change the world. We won't live to see it. You know what I'm saying? But his science might be something that get revisited and they be like, fuck, we should have been checking on this dude's fucking, you know what I'm saying, mathematics the whole time. You see what I'm saying? Where where Eric Weinstein knows what he knows. We all just you. know. You know what I'm saying? I but don't think I that he was just... talking to Terrence Howard like he was a child. I think that Terrence Howard, at a, it got to a certain point where he wouldn't allow him to speak. Mm-hmm. Or every time Eric Weinstein, Weinstein or Stein, every time he says something, Terrence always tried to rebuttal it immediately or tell him, I have something for that. I have something for that. And he was trying to tell him, no, this is what you're doing. You keep telling me there's stuff that you have, but you're missing the point that I'm trying to make. You get halfway to the bridge, but you never cross over to the other side. Because when I talk, you try to take credit away from that or present more proof of this and that and a third, but you never cross exactly. over the bridge to prove your point. Right. He's like, you get halfway there and then you, you forget to interlock everything and make everything fit. And that's how I was like, cause at first it sounded like he was just trying to let, allow him to, uh, the space and opportunity to prove himself and prove his theories and everything like that. And I think he just got so fed up with it where he got not, I, I shouldn't say fed up. He may have gotten agitated, and irritated by what the information that he was hearing. He's like, all right, look, I'm going to, I'm going to give you this in a short wave. All right. What you're doing is stupid or it's, it doesn't fit. And the reason why it doesn't fit is because you don't cross the bridge. You get halfway and then your, uh, your, your, uh, your documents or your, or your theories break down because there is no proof or evidence and you don't follow the, the actual curriculum. Now, I can agree with, I can agree with that. Okay. I, said, I can agree with that. All right, I think cool. that with Terrence Howard, I think what you're saying is true about Terrence Howard. I think Terrence Howard was too, he was adamant about proving his theories, but he wasn't ever bringing the proof. He mm-hmm. was, he wanted to be heard, but he wasn't bringing adequate information to be heard. He just right. wanted to present what he had on the surface versus, versus digging layers down, whereas Eric Weinstein was all about getting down into it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. and Terrence Howard was like, Okay, you said something I can agree with, but you also said something I can challenge. So I'm going to go for the challenge as opposed to trying to find that happy medium and trying to find learn something in the conversation. Right. He kept saying, I have patents. I have patents. I have patents. Patents are one thing. Anybody can get a patent for anything. There's a pat. There is a there's a patent for the swine flu. There's a patent for COVID. There's a patent for damn near everything, man. So that (laughs) say what? There's patents for seeds. Yeah, there's patents for everything, bro. But. The information that he's presenting every time he had every time Eric Weinstein said another said something different where he he went to another thought. He has something else for that. He says, see, that's what you keep doing. You keep presenting more information, but you're not you don't have the proof to back it up. And that's what that's why in the science community, that's why they're rejecting you because you don't have the the correct proof to all to all of your claims. You, You get halfway there and then the bottom falls out of it. Have you heard the uh, heard the saying that the science community is a religious cult? Yeah, yeah. I believe that to be true, mm-hmm. meaning that you know how like certain uh, theologians kind of like lean heavily into how they can interpret the word of God through the Bible, blah blah blah, and they feel like because they're able to do that, i.e., the Vatican, Baptist, Baptist preachers, blah blah blah, they can kind of like they can they can corner the market on that information 
You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of people kind of lean heavily into whatever a scientist has discovered or science says this. Yeah. All you got to do is put science says this in front of something and anything but following that people dare not question it because science says it or the, or the way that, has- or the way that they went over to uh Africa and said that they know better they know more about Egypt than we do so they invented right. Egyptology so we don't know what we don't know anything it, it's based on what they believe is correct you know and and the people right. that who, who invented the Egyptology you know if you're not following exactly. their curriculum uh you don't know what the fuck you're talking about so you're ostracized from the community and they, they laugh at you so the same thing is yeah. happening to 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 Terrence yeah. Howard yeah. And that's not to say that Terrence Howard is right, but it's like you can't really you can't if you can't challenge what they're saying because they're too busy challenging you. It's kind of hard to have that conversation. Uh, and it's kind of like you can't do it without like uh, without dealing with the ridicule of it, because the same thing happens if you if if a person says I'm agnostic, but. The only reason why I'm agnostic is because of these elements, this, this, and this. And then somebody who's a theologian, they may not even be religious, but because they're so heavily studied in the Bible that their perception of what you're saying comes off as being minor to them because you're speaking on what they consider themselves to be uh, experts in. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, I got a degree in this. You don't. So therefore, my degree trumps your... Like, you, you, like Terrence Howard might be uh, constantly ongoing and growing... Uh, uh, I don't even know the fucking word for it, bro. In terms of like what he's what he's researching, you know what I'm saying? What he, what he, because we all experiment in our own ways, right? What I do musically, uh, I can easily say that I probably know more than somebody else. But then there's somebody who got Grammys who look down on what I do, right? You know right. what I'm saying? Because they have the they have the accolades to to and the and the. They have the accolades and the the the, the props network. of people who work in that field to say, mm-hmm. nah, this nigga over here, he'll bump because right. he's speaking on something that we know everything about. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like these they become and I do it on such I do it on such a high level that what you're doing is 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 uh admissible. Yeah. We don't have to pay attention yeah. to that. Yeah. But like Terrence Howard, you used to be an actor. If you were really serious about this shit, you should have you should have just foregone acting and just took right. this shit hundred percent all the way through. Right, you should have dedicated you yourself serious. to this. Right. Not only were you an actor, but from what we understand in the tabloids, you you beat a woman or some sh- some shit like that, whether it be true or not. Oh, totally you know what irrelevant. I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's irrelevant all that. to what we're talking about. Yeah. All that. Just to ostracize him from the science community. And but Eric Weinstein even said that. He said, I want to apologize to you because of the behavior of my colleagues. They're not, but he said, but the other part is the reason why they're not gonna let you in is because you're not getting across the bridge you're not finishing in your thoughts here's the thing that I, I do like about what Ty- terrence howard was 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 doing he was presenting concepts that could possibly work possibly like the lynch, like the linchpin the linchpin so like correct what he, what he did with that and eric weinstein told him he said that uh the reason why you were able to patent this is because you patented an equation that's short of pi. A number, you know what I'm saying, a, an idea that works that isn't this. And he, he started, you know, telling him how brilliant the idea was, but that doesn't make what he's saying versus what he's done match. You know, and I think that he, I think Terrence Howard needs that type of pushback, though. If, if he really, if he really believes in what he's trying to do, he needs to have that. Yeah, because it may make him go back in there and look at, all right, what am I not doing? What am I yeah. not doing? If they're telling me that, that okay, Eric actually sat, someone actually sat down and had a conversation with me about my work and the things that I'm trying to do, my theories and my concepts. So if right. he had that conversation with me, maybe he'll have some a couple more conversations in the background away from everybody else, away from prying eyes, and we can go over yeah. these things and I can do the work and get better at what I'm doing and go from concepts and theories to actual hard proof and hard evidence, because that's what I was, I, that's the only thing I was saying is like, you're, you're just missing a, you're just missing a hard proof. If you had the hard proof, bro, you would be all right. 